Hello and welcome to episode 11. In this episode, I plan on doing a lot of borrows. A Torag Hell. That's a new unique. Don't mind the fashion scape, got a couple quick levels coming in that haven't been achieved for quite a while. Bam! 
there is 89 wood cutting. Bam, 71 fishing. All right, chest number 50, what do we get? Bolt racks. Here's how it works. Just open the app. Go to the recurring tab. And here, you can see all your recurring subscriptions. Tap on the subscription you want to cancel. Then tap cancel now. And you're done. Subscription canceled. No confusing websites. No auto renew. No long hold times. Want to save up to $720 a year? Don't wait to get all your money right now. And I kill count number. Okay, I thought I already had three. Nil shards. Those are my first. Huh? Trying to combo me out? That's how you feel? That's how he feels. Hopefully kill count number four. Okay, kill count number four. Good. What did we get? Rune swords. Let's start with the beginners. Four beginner clues. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Hopefully this can turn our luck around and get something going for us I need some luck there we go steel plate legs trim might be a duplicate nothing there and for two medium clues nothing double unique adamant full helm G and an uh, Arceus banner Kill count 75 coming up and we will be getting a two path with one more fish there we go level 75 fishing well some of you might recognize where I am standing and if you don't recognize where I am standing I am at take these shot who also gives a quest on here called the blacksmith this is a custom quest to Luna and you need level 25 village to start it I now have over level 25 village so let's see what this quest is all about hello hardcore nerd how can I help ye start quest so you're building a village and you need a blacksmith hmm I can help you, if ye help me first of course. I cannot do this alone, I need ye to talk to Nolar, west of here. By the shop, see if he would like to join us. And here's Nolar, talk about the quest, Teddy told me to find you, what does a human need with a blacksmith, I'm building a village and need some dwarves and a blacksmith for our people, is that so, I can help ye, if there's a pretty pay involved of course what do you need I need ye to get half a million coins and ten noted gold bars then we talk all right I guess I'm going to the bank didn't have any gold bars made but that's okay because I had plenty of gold ore and we've made it back but he doesn't want to accept it and I'm now under attack so, bam. Oh, it, it needs to be noted. Okay. Okay, and we've made it back again. Here you go, Nolar. And we're back to Tady. I talked to the dwarf, and he will help us out. That's great. Ye didn't give him any coins now, did ye? Uh... That's typical him. 
he got scammed big time. How? Well, you see, he still owed me, so he was going to help regardless. Thank you for telling me this earlier. Could have saved me half a mil. Haha, <laughs> oh well. We got him now. So what I need you to do... I need you to head to the library in Keldegrim and get me the blacksmith schematics I've made hidden in one of the bookcases. There's a library here? Okay, I think this might be the library. Investigate. Finally got it. Dusty schematics. Let's head back to Tatey. Back at the old guy. Thank ye, hardcore nerd. Ye. When you complete the village, I'll be there to help ye out. Well, there we go. Smithing level 44. Just jumped up four levels. Very nice. And what's this? Uh, spell scroll. 100k. Alright, now let's use the lamp. I was saving it for after the quest. Level 45 herb lore. Nice. Gonna do the mage arena training, or not mage arena training, whatever, the mage arena. And, uh, yeah. What should I do now? Look for the minions, of course. Alright. Well, we're on the right track. Went from extremely cold to very. And we're up to the hotness. Okay, it's extremely hot. Oops. I think Okay, round two. I should probably probably think about it. Hopefully I'll slash some bitterness with this new spell. Much stronger. Oh yeah, this is working great. He's almost done for. There's a deer. Done. And now what do I do? Demon's heart. On to the next. Found the location of the next one. Derwin. He attacks a little bit faster. But he's also almost dead. Who's gonna die first? Looks like him. Not one more solid hit. Okay, not one more solid hit. That was a weak hit. There we go. That is two down. Did I not get the. Okay. Extremely cold. On to the third, I think the last. Made it to number three. I just tried to prepare on the chaos altar at all. He seems to be dying pretty quickly though. Pretty tough mechanics. Ooh. You don't say that. Come on, one more hit. Do you want 
ready to be it. Bam. And there we go. We get all the god capes plus a uh, XP scroll, I believe. And there's 65 cooking, which unlocks pineapple pizzas and wines of Zami. One more lobster. There we go. 66 cooking and 1,400 total level. We have managed to round up two beginner clues, four medium clues, and five hard. So let's get to opening and starting with the beginner clues. A Sarah page? Yes. Last one? Just some money. And for the medium clues, an adamant H4 kite, a red headband, a Guthix page, a dark unicorn, black unicorn mask, and an ancient, yes, an ancient miter and a white boater. Nice. Clear some room real quick. All right. And for our final five hard clues. Guthix boots, a red dragon high body gold trimmed, a red cavalier, gilded chain body, Sarah Domin body, uh, what's this, armadillo bracers, and Zamorak, yes, and Zamorak bracers. Nice, very loaded clue. Guthix boots again with a Rune Defender ornament kit. I didn't even know that had one. <laughs> and for the final hard clue, Guthix bracers, Guthix legs, sharks, and a an Ceridomen? Yes, a Ceridomen stole. Almost every single item from those five hard clues was a unique. Sharks and money were the only non-uniques out of five clues. That's freaking crazy. Let's check out this Rune Defender ornament kit. Oh, that's dope. It turns it into a Gilded Defender. Nice. And that Sarah Domin page has completed the Sarah Domin book. Just doing a quick little borrows chest for my daily task and we get bolt racks. What's this thing down here in the corner? A summer token. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to find out. That's my first summer token. Well, I found out what the summer token is for. It's for the eternal, eternal lady. I don't know what the heck I said at first, but accept it. It is a summer event, and you get the tokens from doing things like borrows, winter toad, tournaments, etc. And then there's a little shop. And I only, I only want two things out of here just one dragon ornament, a uh, dragon scimitar ornament kit, and then the rest I'll just spend on uh, borrows, reroll scrolls didn't realize it but I just hit level 84 health nice and kill count number 113 we get bolt racks blood runes and death runes and there's 54 prayer and we just threw flew past 55 prayer and there's 56 flying through these levels like they're nothing. And Shiverly is unlocked. Very nice. And the last of our bones are coming in right now. So we're going to be ending our prayer training at level 61 for now. And I made sure I brought enough money this time. Before we end the episode we have... A bunch of caskets to open, one beginner, 12 hard, and 4 master clues. 
So let's start with the one beginner and see what we can pull. Just some teleports from there. And on to the hard clues. Magic short bow and some black chaps. Red dragon hide mask, Banado's skirt, and Banado's kite. Oh, armadillo kite. And Banado's plate. Alright. What is that? Ancient? Yes, ancient bracers. Ancient page? Yes. Red cavalier? Yes. Money. Money, money. Uh, armadillo bracers and room plate body trimmed. Oh, this is stacked. We get another armadillo kite, a room kite G, and another pair of uh, armadillo bracers. Some death runes and money. A gothic skirt. Yes, and a regular helm. Yes, all right. And a Guthix helm with rune legs. Banados legs, where'd they go? Up there. Armadillo legs, all right. Now I have to clear some room again. Already up to eight new uniques from that. And our final four master clues. Oh, why do I have a skirt? Drop that. Okay, now our final four clues. Just some money. A mummy mask? Yes. A super restore? Yes. And our last master clue for today. Onyx bolt chips, money, and tooth half of a key. Thank you for coming out and watching this episode. I appreciate it. I really wanted to get this episode out. Uh, it was also pretty long when I started editing it. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope to see you in the next one. If you're new around here, drop a subscribe. If you like it, like it. And if you have something to say about it, drop it in the comments. Whether it's good, bad, or whatever. And if you're feeling like you need some uh, sugar-free energy without the jitters, with no chemicals or artificial dyes, then click the link in the comments that will be pinned and you will get 10% off from your W order. Or you can go to W.GG and put in the code NERDSUNITE at the end and still receive the 10% discount. And trust me when I say it works. And if you don't trust me, find out for yourself. Well, hell, I literally just won the freaking uh, <clears throat> voting lottery. So let's open up this box before we end it. What timing? What is that, volcanic whip? Oh, nice. Let's throw that on right now. Hell yeah. Now that's how you end an episode. For all of my Americans out there, happy 4th and stay safe. Don't blow each other up. Thank you and see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, everybody.